when it comes to project management methodologies, two of the most popular terms are agile and waterfall. But what are they? Are they more similar than different? How do they differ? All of these will be covered in today's session. So without much wait, let's move to today's session's agenda. But before we move on to this session, Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any insightful updates from IntelliPath. Initially, we will go through what is project management, and then we will see the various project management approaches. After which, we will see what is the agile method and then see its pros and cons. After that, we will see what is the waterfall method. Then we will see its pros and cons after which we will see some of the major differences. Then finally, we will go through the major applications, after which we will do a recap of the entire session. What is project management? The use of procedures, techniques, abilities, knowledge, and experience to accomplish particular project goals in accordance with the predetermined guidelines is known as project management. Final deliverables in project management are subject to a limited amount of time and money. The majority of businesses work to effectively manage every aspect of their operations to avoid slowing down in the event that a project fails. Moreover, through interaction with stakeholders, their teams must completely comprehend the aim and the goals of a specific project. Project management makes it possible for a business to set reasonable objectives, timelines, and spending caps. Now, there are various methodologies in which project management is carried out. So, let's take a look at each of them in much more detail. Which brings us to our next topic, which is Various Project Management Approaches it is vaguely estimated that there are about 8,000 plus different methodologies to carry out project management. However, in a broader sense, we could categorize and shortlist them into five of the most widely used as well as most effective approaches to carry out project management. They are Agile method, then comes the waterfall method, then the scrum method. Then comes the Kanban method, and then the Lean method. But among these, surely Agile and Waterfall are the two methods that stand out because of their effectiveness and the number of organizations that makes use of them. So let's dive deeper into more details on Agile and Waterfall. What is Agile method? Continuous development and testing iterations are made easier by using an agile approach in the software development process. Unlike the waterfall methodology, this model allows for parallel testing and development. More communication between the consumers, developers, managers, and testers is made possible by this method. The entire project is broken up into manageable incremental builds when using the Agile methodology. Each iteration of these builds lasts one to three weeks, and they are all offered in iterations. For many firms, the Agile development process and testing techniques have had great success. Agile's advantage are openly acknowledged. They are particularly noticeable in workplaces. Now, let's move on to our next topic, which is Pros and Cons of Agile. Let's look into some of the reasons why Agile is chosen, as well as not chosen or for various projects. The first pro is that, due to their high levels of activity and autonomy, Agile teams are considerably more likely to produce better results for development projects. The next pro is that the maintaining development quality throughout the process is made possible by the Agile software development methodology. And the other advantage is that the concept of modesty, steady growth and progress servers as the main foundation of the strategy. As a result, the team can communicate with the client about what has been done and what has not. In return, this reduces the risk associated with the development stage. Now let us check out the disadvantages. 
it is essential to have a competent presentation in order to attempt to make important decisions throughout the meeting in Agile. When compared to conventional development methods, the cost of implementing an Agile strategy is somewhat higher. The project could easily wear off course if the project manager is in crystal clear on the end results. Now let us go to our next topic. What is the waterfall method? The linear sequential life cycle model, often known as the waterfall model, is a modeling technique. The waterfall model is a sequential, thus the project development team only moves on the top to the next stage of the development or testing when the previous stage has been successfully completed. It is one of the most conventional and simple models to operate. Each phase has a particular deliverables and a review procedure due to the conventional development structure of the project. In smaller projects with the clearly defined needs, the waterfall paradigm performs well. Given that it is continuous software development approach, the development in the waterfall model is viewed as flowing steadily downwards like a cascade. Because of how its diagrammatic representation resembles a cascade of waterfall, this model is known as the waterfall model. Now let's move on to our next topic, pros and cons of waterfall. The first advantage is that the processes and the results are both meticulously documented. The strategy for reorganizing teams is straightforward to use. To manage dependencies, utilize this project management strategy, which is the waterfall. Now let us look through the disadvantages. If the demand is not well defined at the outset, the strategy is less effective. It is challenging to move forward and alter earlier stages. And finally, after the design process is complete, the testing phase begins. As a result, there is a good chance that the faults will be discovered during the development when fixing them will cost more money. Now let's go through our next topic which is the major differences. Changes Agile models are adaptable because it is possible to modify the requirements even after the development process has begun. Whereas the waterfall paradigm, on the other hand, is strict since it forbids changing the requirements after the development process has begun. Size Small teams are used in Agile. A smaller team can work more quickly because there are fewer individuals working on it whereas the team may have additional members in the waterfall model. Testing In the Agile paradigm, the testing team can participate in the requirement modification phase without any issues, whereas the testing team finds it challenging to start any changes and demands under the waterfall paradigm. Funding Agile is flexible and welcomes adaptation, experimentation, and changes in course, even in the project's later stages. The budget is typically more adaptable as a result. Whereas, for the waterfall, the budget is typically established for the projects using the waterfall process. Since the project is planned out from the beginning to end, it is less possible to alter the budget in the middle of it. Finally, the risk involved. Agile blends flawlessly with non-fixed finance, duration and resources, whereas in Waterfall, in firm fixed prices contracts, risk can be decreased by securing the risk agreement at the outset of the process. Now let us go through some of the major applications. Agile Agile offers a lot of flexibility for course correction and adaptation as the project progresses. It works well for the projects whose result could be requiring additional investigation or testing. The budget may alter with Agile since there is more flexibility to change course as the project progresses. Agile is therefore appropriate for projects where stakeholders are actively involved at every stage. Now, let's look at some of the example companies where Agile method has been used. Sky TV, 
BBVA, JP Morgan Chase and Company, finally the Philips. Now for the waterfall. Waterfall is best suited for the projects with a clear end objective because it is a linear project evolution. Waterfall approaches could be a useful methodology to use if a project owner has a clear and defined version for an app, for instance, and is convinced that it won't get altered throughout the project development. Waterfall is a preferable choice if the project must adhere to the stringent rules of specifications because each face's deliverables and rigid procedures make sure that they are met. Now let's look at some of the example projects where the waterfall method has been used. Payment gateways, stock trading, examination portals, and flight control. Now let's go through a quick recap of the entire session that we just took. Initially we went through what is project management and then we saw the various project management approaches. Then we went through what is agile method after which we went through the pros and cons of agile. Then we went on to see what is the waterfall method after which we saw the pros and cons of waterfall. Then we went on to see the major differences between waterfall models and agile methods. And finally, we went on to see the major applications for both agile as well as waterfall model. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any insightful updates from IntelliPad. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides agile trading mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.